Some smaller central Indiana hospitals are hoping to see more employees get vaccinated against COVID-19 before a federal vaccine deadline takes effect in just two weeks. Mandates have had different impacts on different facilities. Fox 59's Zach Myers has that story. February 14th is when the federal government says employees at health care facilities that receive Medicare and Medicaid reimbursements must have their first dose of a COVID-19 vaccine. As of right now, under that mandate, 160 Johnson Memorial employees, or about 20% of the staff, would have to be let go. I worry a lot. It does keep me up at night of trying to fill some of these mission critical positions if we're we're left really to the last minute trying to decide how are we going to staff. Many hospitals and health networks have had their own vaccine requirements in place for months. IU Health terminated about 125 non-compliant employees back in September. Ahead of those mandate deadlines, some hospitals saw more employees getting vaccinated, something Indiana Hospital Association President Brian Tabor hopes will happen as the federal deadline approaches. Maybe 20, 15, 10 percent uh, of uh, unvaccinated uh, workforce. We've seen that drop to ultimately about one to two percent when the deadline actually comes. At Hancock Regional Health, only two out of 1,400 employees are unvaccinated. President and CEO Steve Long says imposing the hospital's vaccination deadline at the end of last year played a big role in that. At our last deadline of December 31st, I think we still had a couple of hundred people and they all got done in that week before the end of the year. Dr. Dunkel hopes to see something similar within the next two weeks. And what I hope is that there's a kind of that rush before February 14th, but it's, again, 160 people still not, not complying. I mean, that's, that's scary to me. Zach Myers, Fox 59 News. As it stands now, the federal mandate requires health care workers to have a first dose of a two-dose vaccine or the single dose of Johnson & Johnson vaccine by February 14th. The second of a two-dose vaccine would be required by March 15th.